Welcome back here to Global State University here in the athletic department. We're in the Waco Center this morning on the coaches show with women's head coach J.R. Dotson. J.R., thanks for joining us this morning. Morning, coach. Oh, matched up here today. I yeah, like got the big blue on. I like it. I like it. Um, you know, we got uh, we talked last week about uh, you know non-conference play and that southern trip. Now, conference play starts tomorrow night. Uh, again, it's uh, West Virginia Wesley and a team very familiar with both of us. Uh, you know, both personally and historically. And to get open up with them, uh, what's what's the mindset of the team going into this contest? I think we're good. I think the team is excited and nervous. I think the team knows the the potential that we have. Uh, being young, still, I think we're we're a bit nervous, but I think we'll be ready. They're uh, uh, they're more they're more ready now than I think than I think they've ever been at Glenville State University, and they're they're wanting to compete. What uh, as far as uh, the practices? Now you've been getting some people healthy. Uh, you know, like, you know, we can't speak to you know to the the HIPAA side of it, but you feel good where you're at going in, just overall. Yeah, we do now. I mean, on on the Southern trip, we had uh, three starters gone for the first game, and then uh, with two with one limited on the on the third game. So right now, going into uh, tomorrow's game, we're starting who we'd like to start. So uh, with and with uh, Katie giving us a full green light on everybody, I'm pretty excited to see. What, what we put on the field with all of them on there at the same time. And yeah, we talked about, you know, Wesleyan, uh, you know, got Wesleyan State right off the bat here this week. And again, we'll be talking about, you know, going down there on the road just to play them. Uh, the league getting better every year. Oh, wow. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of uh, solid teams and teams that are improving. And, you know, we're, we're much improved. Uh, just about the league as a whole, the Mountain East. I, I think you nailed it on the head. They're a very competitive conference. If you can be competitive in this conference, you're going to be a, a good team. Uh, your Concord is already ranked 12th, I believe, in the nation. They're projected at 12th. Uh, Charleston wasn't in the, the national rankings, but they're up there. They're always getting into that NCAA tournament. And you have State and Charleston, historically in the last couple of years, been battling for that third spot for the, the conference tournament. Uh, a D and E came on really strong at the end of uh, last year. Uh, so, and then when you go to the north side, Frostburg is always a mainstay. Uh, Fairmont State has made a big run, and I think they won eight of their last nine or something like that last year. So they're making a big, big jump. Uh, so yeah, I just I think this conference is anybody's conference, honestly. Yeah. Why well, don't we talk about the, the Bluefield match? And you know, we we outshot them, controlled you know the bulk of the possession. Uh, just you know, in terms of uh, you know, in the nine days since or, or going in between those matches, about uh, you feel a little more confident in the group being able to to finish. And, you know, if we're able to you know get those uh, you know kind of opportunities again. I do. I, I think uh, you, you hate to admit this, but I, I think I was still experimenting in the in those first two games because I want to really make a really good showing in the conference. Uh, so we, we were still playing some people maybe where they weren't comfortable. Uh, our formation going out for conference play is going to be completely different than what we played uh, uh, on the Southern games, Bluefield and Converse. So we're going to be in a different formation, probably be a, more like, a lot like how we played towards the end of last year where we won three of our last five. And so we're going to try to make that that push here in the very beginning to, to get some wins quick. I tell you, you know, we're certainly. Uh, I was happy that there were a lot of other other teams represented at, at the with the scrimmages we had here. Uh, what are you looking for tomorrow night? What would you like to see in terms of support and uh, you know from families and it, it, faculty and so forth? It makes a huge difference whenever you have that that support. Uh, the girls on the field notice it. It gives you that little extra uh, step up. Uh, they want to do well for the uh, football team last year was fantastic uh, and the girls look forward to that so yeah I mean anybody that we can get to come out uh, we love to have them out uh, I'm probably going to make some phone calls try to get some local teams to, to, to come but uh, yeah that support makes a huge difference yeah, well we're looking forward to it I think with it being a local rival of course with the Wesleyan history you know they've had several national runner-up team you know several NCAA teams and 
uh, for us to come in and be able to compete with them. That would be a really, really nice step, you know, for your program. Looking forward to tomorrow night. Yeah, Can't wait. Cannot yeah, wait. Uh, but anyway, we'll get together next week. Uh, those games tomorrow night here at Morris Stadium. Uh, that'll be Wednesday night with uh, Glenville and Wesleyan, and Coach Dodson's crew will be on the road this Sunday down at Institute to face uh, West Virginia State. And we'll be back next week to talk about those. Coach, appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you all for being with us out there.